cool DIY Christmas wreaths and they are so easy. I know that maybe this one looks complicated, but I have figured out a technique that just makes it super, super easy. And he has this cute little deer or reindeer, whatever it is. And you know, you can put anything you want on there. And then this one is to hold our little slivers of our Christmas tree. And so if you're interested in knowing how to make this, stay tuned. quick footage before I get started. So these are just the um, wreath frames and these are from Michael's. I think they were like $3, but I got them on sale. And then these are the candy cane frames and they are a dollar at the dollar store. This is just batting. And then here are the things that I'm gonna use to decorate the different wreaths and candy canes when I'm done. So I mean, you just wanna find some wide ribbon that's wired if you can, and then a cute thing that you think is gonna, you know, top it off well. He's so cute. And guys, these ornaments were from Walmart. Like this is Walmart. Um, this one is Walmart. This one is Michael's. This is Michael's. But the point is they were all like $2. And the ribbon, those were all $5 a bundle because I bought them on sale. And these two right here were from Walmart. And these two were from Michael's, but they also had them at Walmart when I went there. Did we good? Scissors. And of course, my amazing DIY power wall. And I'll put a link to how I built this up here in the cards, so you can check that out if you want. But this thing is massive and I love it and it just makes me feel like it's snowing in here and it just makes my soul happy. Now let's make some wreaths. So you wanna cut it into, like these are eight inch wide by 16 inch long pieces of batting that I just cut up. And this is what you're going to end up with. And this is just after the first layer. So I'm gonna do it one more time through because I want it to be extra thick. And Fluffy. This is a decoration that I got at the dollar store and I'm gonna put it right here. What this is gonna be for is for my family and I to add each year. We do this silly thing where when we get our tree cut, we ask them to cut off an extra little piece and we write the year on it. Um, but that way when my kids are older, they will have you know all of the Christmases basically from when they grew up represented on this little wreath. Take a piece of poster board like this and then cut it square so that it basically, you know, fits roughly the shape of this. So you just take this and do sort of a loose cut. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna be against the wall and nobody's even gonna see that. And then I just, you know, turned it over on its face and then glued down a few pieces at a time. Just like put little dots and then press it in. And then I just put this on here and this is the transfer. So now it's just all one piece and we're gonna decorate it. Yay. And then just to make a little hanger, you can just take a piece of ribbon, any color, I just use black. And then I just put four dots of hot glue and then kind of anchored it down here and make it however long you want yours to be. I want mine to sit up really close to the hanger. So that's how you're gonna hang it. Right here, all you wanna do, these are just from the dollar store, the little jingle bells in three colors and just glue them down. So here is the finished product. You see it's hanging. Um, that's it. And I love it because like, can you shut the door? You're gonna hear it make that little jingle sound. And I did take a piece of styrofoam and mount it to the back and then go around it with ribbons. So that way, like if somebody's looking in from the side, you know, they can't see anything but the black. Um, but just so that it would sit up like away from the door because, you know, the way it's mounted, this top part was coming out a little bit and this part was like down, but I wanted it to sit out so you could really see everything. So that is everything on that one, guys. I hope you love that. an Ashland wreath form that's 24 inches. So this thing is huge. And as a result, I'm going to need two of these 75 foot things of ribbon. And it's just super easy. So here's what the wreath will look like. This is just one section that I've done. And it's a really nice full wreath if you like that look. And then I'm going to put something you see this open space right there. That's where I'm going to put um, this little guy. I'm gonna put him right here. And we're all good. But I wanted to show you the technique on how to make this really full looking wreath. I know there are a bunch of videos that show you how to do it with like twisting and all this, but I'm, yeah, I don't have that kind of patience. So here's what I did. I basically just made a guide 
And this is like, it's just three ribbon folds, right? So you have and then two and then three and then cut it and just keep this as your guide. And then you're just gonna make up a bunch of these, which is what you see right here. And then for each section, depending on how you fold, I'm doing four of these per section, so it's gonna require a lot of ribbon. But then when you're done, you're just gonna take this and just twist it. So you're gonna twist all of your sections but keeping this flat. And here's why this method is just so super easy, watch. So instead of having to like push it through here and turn it and then push it through and turn it and all that, Literally just slip it like this. One, two, three, pull it up. I mean, guys, it honestly is just as simple as that. And then you can come back through, same thing. Take this piece, you're gonna twist it. So you wanna make sure that you leave the length long enough that you're gonna be able to give it a good twist and still have a nice full area up here. And then again, you just take this thing and you're just gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, and then pull it up. And then once you have all four in here, and I'll speed this up for you, but once you have all four in here, they'll just sit in here all by themselves. All of them are through. And then all you do is just go through, just gonna start opening up the loops. And then you'll see that, you know, the depth will come down, it won't be as whatever. And then you're just gonna finish it up just like that. And just kind of keep opening them and until you get whatever desired fullness you're after. And I mean, I wouldn't stress about making them perfect while you're doing it because you can go through at the very end and just kind of clean it up and make it look as whatever as you want. But then there you go. You see how easy that is. And guys, there's no, there's nothing on the back. There's no super glue, nothing. I mean, and look, I'm shaking it and it's not coming out. We're going to add a little decoration like this. This is just a, um, well, it is a wreath decoration, but from Michael's. I wanted to show you one thing. So this middle section, and that's where the little decoration is going to go. You're looking at the back here. But I decided to add some batting to it. And basically, you can just kind of tuck it back here behind the um, cage and then pull it through and around. You can hot glue it if you want. And then that way, it'll push this up so that the depth will be correct. And then you can lay, you know, you can wrap the ribbon around this section like this and it'll sit up a lot higher which will give it a more sort of manufactured look and kind of make it otherwise he would sort of disappear into this depth down here so see how far down my hand goes so I just want to show you that's a little trick you can do um <laughs> poor Frosty just got a colonoscopy um you know how he had this little stick well kind of up his butt and you don't have to cut it because I had wire cutters and I literally could not cut this thing. But if you just gently pull it, it will come out. And then some of his little guts came out. So I had to use this stick and, and perform surgery. Push his guts back in there. He got a colonoscopy, but guess what? He's good. He's healthy. Yay for the healthy for the holidays. But anyways, I mean, I'll push that in and then just like super glue it shut. And when he's on here and everything's all whatever, trust me, you're not going to see that. You're not going to see it and it's frosty so should we do frosty or this little gnome i don't know i'm pretty torn because he's pretty cute too one other thing i wanted to show you guys just for size perspective and of course this is not like done yet so just don't look at that but so this is just a regular pantry door and that's a 24 inch wreath so this is certainly i'm designing this absolutely to go on the front door so just for again size perspective it would be really wide and generally it wouldn't even sit. See, it's like right up against the door frame. So 24 inch wreath, certainly gonna be for the front door. If you want something for here, maybe go with like an 18 or a 12. Well, here is the final product and I hope you guys love it. It's Buffalo plaid and I'm obsessed with Buffalo plaid. And don't forget that you could do this with multiple colors of ribbon. So you could alternate between this and a black and white buffalo plaid. The possibilities are endless. I hope you guys love this and this technique is fantastic. It just makes everything so, so easy. And if you guys do enjoy videos like this, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribing as I do post videos like this regularly. Thanks for spending some time with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! you how I made these DIY Christmas wreaths 
and this is um